Today we're going to talk about tags and how to use tags within Sortly. Now tags are a great way to group your items together essentially by a similar tag. For example, let's use an iPhone, an iPod, and an iPad. Let's say all those products are, off, are things that you have within your Sortly account. Currently you could throw an Apple tag on them and then you could search for that Apple tag in order to find all those items with that particular tag. Now it's very easy to add tags and one of the benefit of using them in Sortly is there's no limit to how many tags can be in a single account or on a single item. So I'm gonna walk you through how to add a tag into the system and also how you can manage your tags. So to add a tag, when we hit add new, we can go to adding an item. Now you can add tags on both items and folders so it's completely up to you as to where you wanna use tags and how you can utilize them within your account. In this case, this is the quick add view, and we're not going to see a field here to add tags, but if we click on show all fields, this is going to give us a much more expansive view for where we can add tags in. And tags can be seen right below the price field here. So to add a tag, you can simply type in the name of the tag that you want, and it will give you the opportunity to create that tag. If you click into this field, it's going to give you a drop-down list with all the tags that are currently associated with your account. If I'm going to search for Apple, as an example, I will see that the Apple tag is already available to us here. If I hit enter, it's going to add that tag to that item. Now, in this case, we could add multiple tags at one time. And this is very helpful if you're looking for maybe a location of an item. Maybe you want to track things such as the hardware space on an item. Uh, maybe you want to have dimensional information, product information, product keys. Now you could use a lot of custom fields for some of the stuff that I just showcased, but a good example here would be for this item in particular, it's an Apple product, it's located in storage room two, and it's on shelf four. So this is a great way to kind of indicate where an item may be. And again, the benefit here is we could go in and add as many tags as we want to into a singular item. Now, if you wanted to manage existing tags that are here, you can go in the left-hand navigation and click on tags. Now, tags specifically will showcase all of the different tags that are currently in your account. You can see that they're all scrollable. One of the benefits here, and I'll kind of show you how this works, if we click on this brown tag as an example, it's going to pull in all the items in our system that have that specific tag associated with it. So in this case, you can see we have a lot of different serial fans throughout our account, and all of the ceiling fans have this particular tag with it. Now, let's say we wanted to edit a tag. We could click on the pencil tool here, and that would allow us to edit the name of the tag. If we wanted to add some more information to the tag, we could do so. Um, if we wanted to uh, remove some characters from it, we could as well. Now, when we save this change, or if we were to make a change to it and save it, it's gonna adjust the tag across all items. And we kind of see that down here, tag successfully updated. Now, if you delete a tag, this is, would remove that tag from every single item that the tag is associated with. One thing to keep in mind is that if you are deleting a tag, it's not something that is recoverable. So it would remove this tag from every single field within your setup uh, on all those items. So be careful if you are going to delete those. This is not something that the support team or you internally in your account would be able to recover. You can also add tags manually through this view here by clicking the add tag button. It'll give you a pop-up and you can type in the tag that you want to in this case. That's a high-level overview of tags. As always, feel free to reach out to support if you have any questions. Thanks.